Hello, my name is Regina Lombardo. I was fortunate enough to attend the University of South Florida during the years of 1989 to 91. It was uh, during that time that I attended the Fort Myers campus, which afforded me a, a great opportunity to be able to run my parents' business, Lombardo's Italian Market, and also uh, provide myself an education. It was also working with my parents uh, at that time that I met uh, Dr. Madeline Isaac, who was a actually the director of student affairs at the time for the University of South Florida. It was uh, her encouraging words that uh, said that I should go back to school and finish my degree because she knew that I had only um, finished my first two years and I was at a crossroad in my life. It was her words that planted the seeds that uh, got me back into school. It was also uh, Dr. Rosemary Stanford, the head of criminology, who um, believed in me. Uh, she helped get me through the next few years to that graduation day uh, in 1991. It was also her who nominated me and guided me to put in for a, an internship at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center. And it was that internship that I completed successfully that allowed me to take on the amazing career that I've had for the last 28 years. I am a special agent with the Department of Justice, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, commonly referred to as ATF. Uh, it's a small agency with a big job. Uh, we enforce the federal gun laws. We regulate the gun industry. And during these challenging times, it's been a very big task for, for our organization. I am actually very privileged, uh, and it's the greatest honor to now be the deputy director of our organization, the chief operating officer. Um, and as the number two in the organization, my overall goal and mission is to oversee all of the operations and to help guide and motivate and inspire the 5,100 employees that we have uh, to enforce the federal gun laws and to help reduce gun violence in this country. I can tell you I never thought um, that I would be walking through the doors at University of South Florida back in those early days that I would have the amazing life and the amazing career that I have today, one that is full of uh, honor, full of pride, and one that I, uh, I hold. Uh, I, I thank the University of South Florida for that opportunity and for the many mentors and people who believed in me um, at that university that helped get me to where I am today. Thank you.